हेलो नमस्कार वेलकम स्वागतम यू आर विद वर्सटाइल डॉक्टर माय नेम इज डॉक्टर अभिनव अतुल एंड टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग विद यू वन ऑफ माय सो टू से जैंक डेक्स मैजिक द गैदरिंग अरेना इज गेनिंग मोर एंड मोर पॉपुलैरिटी नाउ दैट पेपर मैजिक द एक्चुअल ट्रेडिंग कार्ड्स गेम इज नॉट दैट मच ऑफ प्रैक्टिकलिटी राइट नाउ देर आर नो टूर्नामेंट्स Actually, in India, there were never any tournaments ever. But in any case, uh, in other countries where Magic the Gathering paper paper uh, card game tournaments were held, um, Friday night magic were held. Those things are quite restricted now. Now, so all we have is, for the most part, Magic the Gathering arena, and that is enough, I say. Uh, so as usual. before starting the details of uh, the deck let's play a game first of all so the deck that i will be uh, trying out today is named oven of treachery quite dramatic name i suppose and uh, as usual i'll be playing historic ranked let's select oven of treachery this is the first match now see this game this uh, deck is actually built around two uh, mechanics which in combination give you a possible way to win 
The first is taking control of the, of the opponent's creatures and the second is to sacrifice them for our own gain. Uh, yes, this is the opening hand and I'm not happy with the opening hand. Okay. Mm, no, I'll malik mulligan. What I need is still not here. I'll mulligan again. Okay, this will do. I'll have to r return tentative connection and I'll keep
Yeah, sorry about the disconnection. Uh, let's start again. So here I'm playing a historic ranked play with uh, my deck Oven of Treachery. The mechanic of this deck is uh, two-way. Taking control of the opponent's creatures and then sacrificing them uh, for our own gain. So that means uh, this deck will work good in creature specific decks. I mean when uh, the shrines decks, the decks which are more specified, more uh, focused on planeswalkers and uh, uh, artifacts and shrines and all that, this deck will not do good against them. So this is my opening hand. What I need is uh, some way to destroy my opponent's creature after I take uh, control of them. Can that be done? Okay, this is okay. So as I was saying, Taking control of, uh, this is a red mono deck with a few colorless cards. Colorless cards give me some kind of versatility in cases where uh, red, any, any mono colored deck has some limitations. And colorless decks, while they don't need any specific colors of mana, uh, they give a lot of versatility. You'll see. Just like uh, in cases where there are uh, creatures who are put into exile and then put uh, back into the battlefield into the play from the graveyard this little guy can help me diffuse those situations I can exile those cards from the graveyard so that they can't escape nothing to do now uh, the second draw the third draw I actually need a land And no land, pass turn. Resolve, yes, resolve. Why, why are you waiting? I can even exile this one. But I desperately need a land right now. Yes, this is the witch's oven. Uh, colorless artifact and this is the uh, this is the reason why this deck is called oven of treachery when which is oven is okay gone when which is oven is in my opening hand that is uh, that is the good thing that is the ideal uh, opening hand Another evolving wilds. My turn. I need a land. Yes, I got a land. Now I can play Iron Bully. Why do I need Iron Bully? It is a three mana creature with menace. When I have a creature. Oh, okay. So this is this is definitely an aggro deck, and uh, I'm gonna lose Iron Bully also. No problem. So why I why I need Iron Bully in my deck? That is because let's exile first of all their intent. There is a red card uh, from Ikoria, Tentative Connection. That gives me uh, that is a spell to gain control of an opponent's creature, and its mana cost is one mountain and uh, three generic mana. If I have a, men if a, a creature with menace on the battlefield, that becomes just one single forest, uh, mountain. Sorry, this is a metallurgic summoning. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, create a XX colorless construct artifact. Okay, 
I can do that, but I need more cards. Let's do this. And exile evolving wilds. Now to sac to sacrifice. To sacrifice an opponent's creature uh, of whose control I have gained, I need either weaponize the monster, in which case I can sacrifice it and uh, uh, deal two, two damage to any target, or I need Witch's Oven, in which, in which case I can sacrifice that creature and uh, create a food token. Or I can use a, a spell like Final Flare in which I can uh, sacrifice that creature and uh, deal, deal 5 damage to any target creature or anything. Okay, so this is a token artifact construct 4-4. Four, four. Now I, I will be dealt 4 damage this turn. So now. I get another mountain. I can use claim the firstborn. Since this is a token creature, it has zero mana cost. Resolve. I will attack the opponent with their own creature. And then I'll use uh, okay, I can use this spectacle feature to deal three more damage. Mm. Okay, resolve. And I can use weaponize the monster to deal two more damage and sacrifice this creature. So this is the com this is the combo, taking control of the opponent's creature, dealing some damage, and then sacrificing that creature to get uh, either food token or anything. Okay, torrential gear hulk. Enter. Now, in case in this case, uh, there are two creatures on the battlefield. If I had more mana, I could have uh, taken control of both creatures. And if I had oven, uh, witch's oven on the battlefield, that would have been easier. But in any case, let's see what can I do. my lithoform engine is gone my turn I have to take control of this creature but this is a blue deck the opponent has a blue, red and black deck. They must have something um, to counter. Yes, this is. They are exiling their own creature. Resolve. Resolve. So, I guess I, I lost this game. Okay, 
this was a good game I'll concede and let's uh, talk a bit more about this deck so as you can see in the stats this isn't giving me very uh, large percentage of wins and uh, still it is a good deck to play with Oven of Treachery Here I have the main combo to take control of the opponent's creatures. I have claimed the first bond which uh, works on all everything that has mana cost 3 or less, converted mana cost 3 or less. Then uh, to take control of other creatures we have Act of Treason that is one mountain and two generic mana then there is hijack hijack is three, uh, two mountain and one generic mana sorcery which will take control of any creature and then there is this two mountain and three generic mana cost song mad treachery this is uh, this is also the uh, this is also why i named this deck oven of treachery this is a modal dual phase card that was released in uh, Zendikar Rising set. Uh, I can use this if I if, if I get it in the initial turns. I can use this at, as land, and if I get it well into the game, then I can use it as the sorcery. Okay, after take, after gaining control of the opponent's creature. Okay, there is one creature also. This human pirate, uh, captivate captivating crew one mountain and three generic mana and for the same cost I can gain control of a target creature that gains that uh, untaps and gains haste so that can be done When we have ways of dealing damage or gaining life from the con from the creatures of which uh, I now have control. First of all, which is oven, I tap this and sacrifice that creature and I get a food token. Other than that, I have weapon uh, weaponize the monsters, which will which is an enchantment which uh, which will deal two damage to any creature if I give two mana and sacrifice a creature. Then uh, Golden Egg and Spare Supplies. These two artifacts are used to draw cards. Sometimes uh, when the, the hand is not good and many of the cards are just uh, going away, going into the, bat, uh, into the graveyard, I need to draw more cards. That is where Spare Supplies, Golden Egg and this uh, Light of the Stage comes in handy. Light of the Stage and skewer the critics. These two uh, spells are quite unique because of their spectacle mechanic. Their mana, their converted mana cost is three, one mountain and two generic. But if I have dealt damage to the opponent in that turn, I can use, uh, I can cast this spell only for the spectacle cost, which is a mere one red mana. Iron Bully, as I said, it is uh, in the deck because it is a man menace creature. If I have a menace creature on the battlefield, I can cast Tentative Connection only for one red mana. As you can see, this spell costs three less to cast if you control a creature with, with menace. I, ha I also have two other creatures with menace, I think. Mm. Bogart Brute. Bogart Brute is a creature with menace, 3 mana cost, uh, 2 copies of that. Okay, so to, uh, to reduce the casting cost, to modify the casting cost of Tentative Connection, I need a creature with menace that can be either Bogart Brute or Iron Bully. I have 2 copies of each in the deck. 
then four copies of skewer the critics to deal three damage uh, with the spectacle cost and uh, two copies of hijack four copies of act of treason uh, four copies of claim the firstborn and two copies of song mad treachery so that makes it a 70 card deck i have a 25 lands 22 normal lands basic land cards three dwarven mines dwarven mines if i have three mountains on the battlefield and i cast dwarven mine that will also give me one one token creature dwarf that will uh, give me another creature to sacrifice to say uh, cast more damage to the opponent like this inst this uh, instant hard fire one mountain and one generic mana if i sacrifice a creature this spell will deal four damage to any any target it can be a uh, planeswalkers it, it can be the opponent or any creature and ugin uh, if you have been following me you know that ugin is just like a trump card i, I keep it in m almost all of my decks then lithoform engine lithoform engine is uh, handy where i can uh, multiply my spells say i can copy my uh, blood aspirant it will gain plus one plus one counter every time i sacrifice an in, uh, uh, upper mind that means not only the creatures if i sacrifice a food token to gain three life this blood aspirant will gain plus one plus one counter so that's uh, that's about it in this deck let's play another game let's see if i can get a win a decent win Okay, my opening hand still doesn't have a uh, Witch's Oven, but I have Claim the Firstborn and Heartfire. That is an okay combo for the first three uh, turns. Keep seven. Uh, this is a black, so it must be a creature's deck with Death Touch. Okay, I will not take control of this uh, Vampire of the Di Dire Moon because it is too low cost too low uh, powered creature next and turn okay one damage and one life gain for the opponent this is something good this is good uh, timerit chosen from death this is a legendary enchantment creature demigod but I still don't have anything to sacrifice it with. So I'll cast spare supplies, draw another card, and let's see what happens. I get another mountain. Next turn, I can control, I can take control of one of the creatures and do something about it. Why next turn? See, now I have three mana. I can take control of uh, Timerit. No, I'll take control of Vampire of the Dire Moon. Let's see what happens. Taking control of Vampire of the Dire Moon. Now I will attack with this. The opponent can't defend, they don't have any untapped creatures. So they will get one damage, I will gain one life, and I'll use hard fire to destroy Timerit, sacrificing Vampire of the Dire Moon. If I had one more mana, I could have as a used skewer of skewer of the uh, skewer the critics for its spectacle cost. Now this is something else. I need to take control of this and sacrifice this as early as possible. But I don't have anything to sacrifice it with. Okay. This can go on the battlefield. Captivating crew. 
This is a very dangerous card. A fire action oblique. Okay. Chupacabra. Ravenous Chupacabra. My creature is gone. And I'll have to take 6 damage. Now what can he do? 3 damage to any target. Okay, let's see what happens. If they block this creature, if uh, the opponent uses Ravana Chupacabra to block Fire Action Obliterator, they will have to sacrifice everything. Let's see where we go with this. Attack. No blocking, as expected. Now they get uh, 5 damage and I use the spectacle ability of skewer the critics to deal 3 damage to any target. Which target will I choose? I'll choose Chupacabra. This game is not going uh, as per the uh, expected combo. My Witch's Oven is still not on the battlefield. I can take control of the opponent's creatures but I don't have anything to sacrifice it with. Even if I had a Blood Aspirant on the battlefield, I will still need 2 mana to sacrifice anything. I need more cards. I lose this game. Let's go again. This time I will not start the uh, battle. I will not start the game without having a witch's oven in my hand, in the opening hand. Play our own of treachery. No. No, no, no. I need witch's oven. I need witch's oven. Can I mulligan again? No, I can't mulligan more. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, get rid of Traveling claws and tentative connection. Done. So I have no plays uh, until I have at least have Bogart Brute in the battlefield. No, Thought Seas. Thought Seas is gaining uh, quite a bit of popularity now. So my claim the first pawn is gone. I still have no witches oven in play. I can cast Bogart Brute. Which I am sure the opponent will just destroy. Yeah. This is a black deck. This is a mono black deck as far as I can see. And obviously mono black decks are just famous for destroying everything. Discard two cards. Mm, let's discard two mountains. Nothing to do. Now I need 
mountains again. Underworld dream. I will get, I'll get one damage every time I draw a card. Nothing to be done this turn also. I don't think this deck, the opponent's deck is actually focusing on the creatures. Low powered, yeah, low powered uh, creatures are very difficult to handle with this deck because, see, I don't get much, uh, much bang out of taking control of these. Okay, let's uh, give one damage to the opponent. Then use hard fire to give four damage and sacrifice tattered mummy and tattered mummy will also do another two damage so this is actually uh, a little bit better okay fire action obliterator why is this guy coming out coming out so often No blocks. Another copy of Fire Action Obliterator. Nothing to do. Resolve. Give one mountain and use Captivating Crew. Now the point is, I lose the game. Two creatures with trample, five five two 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 five five creatures with trample. Mm. If I block any, I'll have to sac I'll have to sacrifice uh, my permanents. Okay, concede. Nothing to do. Let's play one more game. I'm starting to see that this deck is actually mm, not worth sharing, I think. Do let me know if you copy this deck and use it for your gameplay, if, if you can make it even better. Giving me loss after loss. Uh, again, no witches oven. Five, four copies of witches oven in uh, deck of seventy cards. How difficult is it to draw it in the opening hand? supplies at least I can draw something keep six lose hijack let's see draw and mine at the very least I can get one one dwarf creature token then I can use spare supplies to draw another card another land where is the witch's oven In the four, in the, this is the fourth game I'm playing, and uh, I have drawn witches of an un, only once, and even even in that game, it was taken away from me. Okay, the opponent seems to be playing a black green combo. Let's see where it goes. Another mountain. Let's deal 
two damage. Use the spectacle ability, st spectacle uh, skewer the critics to deal three more damages. Three more. And uh, draw another card with spare supplies. Ugin. I got Ugin, but I didn't get which is a one. I can at least use a 1-1 one, one dwarf creature. Iron Bully. Okay. I'll use this instant uh, in the opponent's turn. Let's see. If they can play any creature with. Okay, this is Vivian Reed. Look at top four cards of the library. This will surely destroy something. Okay. No. Before you destroy, I'll sacrifice it and destroy you. Let's do this again. Finally, I have cleaned the first ward. But what to do with it? Nothing. There are no creatures on the battlefield. The opponent is uh, down to 9 life and I am at 20. Let's see where this is going. I still don't have any Witches Oven. And uh, I need uh, 2 more mana to be able to cast Ugin. Let's see if I actually win this game with Ugin or I get to play my combo. Chupacabra, okay. Uh, yes. This is 4 mana cost, so I can't take control of this with claim the first pawn. And this is Explore, okay. Mm, explore mechanic is something that uh, gives uh, increases the counters on a creature surprisingly fast in the blink of the eye this 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 uh, creature jade light ranger will become 5588 or something like that i will however be able to take control of this creature and what do i do now i can play ugin but i won't play ugin i'll use this to take control of this And use heart fire to deal four more damage and sacrifice jade light ranger next turn i can use ugin to finish off the game so i think i i it's still too early to say the game is not won yet this one is cast down destroy target non-legendary creature i don't have any creature Another jade light. Okay. This one is detection tower. No blocking. Okay. I can't block. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. No need. I can simply use Ugin's plus two ability to finish off the game. At last I got one victory out of this deck. So anyway, this is a deck you would uh, want to play just for the fun of it, not not to 
uh, rank, uh, climb up the ladder of ranks or to win any tournaments. Let's see um, uh, if I can make more decks. Obviously, I have, as you can see in my arena, I have more decks that I would like to share with you. But after a little bit. Last time I shared with you this deck, Gigantodon, uh, which is okay, which is uh, still giving me some um, wins. Elemental Green, Red, Blue, this deck I created today. It is uh, kind of a remnant from um, what deck I had, uh, the Elementals deck I had before the set rotation this year. And this is still a decent deck. But my uh, biggest wins are coming off this Red Bombardment. This is a red aggro, mono red aggro deck and it is a kind of a ongoing theme right now. If you, if you have been following the meta, if you have been following the meta of Magic the Gathering, you will see that if you have to win tournaments, if you, have, sorry, not tournaments, if you have to climb up the ladder of the ranked uh, gameplay, you need aggro decks because uh, at this day and age when almost all the arena players can simply uh, download the decks uh, and craft them from the wild cards they have they, uh, they have earned and uh, getting wins just to get the rank up that is only possible if you have a red mono aggro decks like the one i am having right now uh, which is red bombardment because any other deck, any other control deck, any other jank deck, any other uh, combo deck that needs to be excessively st strong to be able to beat say the red mono goblin deck. The goblin deck which is uh, which will give an opponent, which will give a player a win in turn 4 or 5 and there are not, there is nothing to be done against that. But in any case, uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what decks are you playing right now and uh, what are your feelings, what are your thoughts on the concept of net decking? Uh, many people dislike it, but actually, what is the harm? I mean, if I am here sharing my deck with you, you are obviously welcome to try it out in your own play. Maybe one of the decks I made uh, will be good enough for you, maybe one of the decks I made will be bad for you similarly there are thousands of streamers thousands of content creators they are making their own decks and sharing online and you are free to download any of them craft them with the help of the wild cards that you have or the card collection that you have on magic Week arena and uh, play it there is nothing wrong with net decking that is my opinion and i'll definitely want to hear your opinions this is all from my side for today i'll be back with another magic the gathering arena video or any other video on any other different topic till then please stay tuned with me please stay tuned with the versatile doctor by clicking this subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video you have been with dr abhinav atul and it is my pride and privilege to be able to connect with you through this video